welcome to Scott's Inverts. I'm Scott. These are the inverts that you're going to see in just one second. This is the Invert Room tour, a whole series dedicated to me being able to show you guys at home exactly what's right here in Scott's Inverts. Um, stick around to the end because we've got a little update on that Ishna Theli Cordata which we did the other day. She's webbed up quite a lot and I really want to show you guys just how much webbing she's done in such a little short time. Anyway, let's get in to the tour. So these are my Ghana Caforium. Um, a lot, a lot of babies. The adults, we kind of got about three or four left. The adults don't seem to live that long. But we do have, as you can see here, an absolute ton of babies. And I will try and dig around to try and find you guys an adult as well. Just simple moss, compost, some fresh leaf salad, and we're good to go. And here's one of the one of the adults. Absolutely beautiful. Those again, these are the ghost porcelain roach. The porcelain roaches are almost all porcelain in white colour, but these are absolutely beautiful. I do want to try and get more roaches into the collection here i am really kind of enjoying them if you get what i'm saying these are beautiful <clears throat> and next up is our subadult male nandu trepepe if you haven't got nandu or uh, nandu trepepe in your collection i highly suggest you do they're absolutely stunning and the red hairs just create this beautiful hue across the whole of this spider absolutely stunning recently molted and there is his molt mat just there absolutely stunning they're rather quick they have a fantastic food response as well but i really really enjoy the whole nandu genus but especially the trepepe that are just absolutely beautiful i mean just look at those eyes not even lined up properly on the carapace are they they seem to have just been placed higgledy piggledy but again those hairs coming down those legs are absolutely beautiful what a stunning spider <laughs> Which brings us on to our Carabina Versicola. Um, we bought this one from Creatures from the North as a paired spider. She is yet to drop a sack. She was bought from Seas, if I remember rightly. If not Seas, it was a Torton show. But anyway, she is still beautiful. Her abdomen is looking a bit more plump, let's say. So fingers crossed, we do get that egg sack. But they are notorious uh, for not actually dropping those sacks as well. So... But just look again, the carapace, absolutely stunning. That red-pink colour on those hairs, absolutely beautiful. And that metallic, kind of metallic -y, pinky red on the abdomen is just stunning with that metallic green carapace. Again, an essential spider for anybody's collection. This girl is just up there for me. Absolutely beautiful. Which brings us to a non-spider, a Scorpio palmatus. This one is a subadult female. Yes, what we're looking at on screen is a subadult female. These do not grow that big, maybe an inch at the most. But with their size also comes a pretty nasty nip. If this girl did sting you, it would be equivalent to like a bee sting or a nasty wasp sting. So when you've got one of these, you have got to be rather careful as well as. But just look, she is just absolutely stunningly beautiful. And we'll put her, we'll put her little hide away. And she'll probably go straight in there. <laughs> and she does. Absolutely beautiful. And next up is our Sicarius Thomathides, which is just an awesome sounding name <laughs> regardless. Our six-eyed sand spider, or one of our six-eyed sand spiders, I should say. It is reported that they think there is around 32,000 different species of sand spider, which we haven't even found yet because they hide in sand. Even trying to get this one on camera, as you can see, can be a bit awkward because of the speed of these things. They can't climb glass or plastics, but if you've got a container like we have on here with perforations, they will climb up those perforations, so just be careful. But these are just a stunning, stunning spider. Absolutely gorgeous. Feeding response isn't amazing, but they are beautiful. Which brings us to our Pamphibetis platyoma, another stunningly beautiful spider. This one is a small juvenile with those kind of baby colours, if you like, still on the abdomen if you look closely, but that a carapace is just absolutely beautiful. I don't know what it is about carapaces on tarantulas, but that is my thing. <laughs> I do love them. 
Then our Ishnathalia cordata, only in a couple of days, it's managed to web up this much, which is absolutely incredible. For such a small spider, the production of silk is just mind blowing. Um, I kind of looked in here and I thought, well, where, where has all this actual webbing come from? Because you, you don't look big enough to be able to create this much webbing. But it just, I suppose it goes to show you, you know, you don't need um, a big spider to produce a lot of webbing at all. But I do think this enclosure looks beautiful now. And a little sneak pre preview into a project that we've got going on at here at Scott's Inverse. I'm not going to tell you the species of animals that are going in here. I'm just going to give you a little bit of a snippet. Boom! So that was the Invert Room Tour. Um, again, this is a series, so there's quite a few out there. So check the playlist for that Invert Tour playlist and go check out all of them. Um, some of the spiders and some of the bits of bobs. Um, I no longer have or they've passed away and stuff like that so for, to do a tour video for myself really really is crucial so I can remember exactly what I've had over the years guys and if you're not subscribed remember to hit that subscription button for me this Tuesday we are doing an open mic night yeah I think I'm one of the original people to be doing open mic nights um, within the invert community anyway but that's this Tuesday so tomorrow night at 8pm British Standard Time, so UK time. The priority is going to go to new keepers because um, I want to try and get some new guys involved in these streams, try and get some new guys up on stream, see what they keep, see if it's any different um, that they're starting to keep into other people's, to what we've seen before, maybe some new inverts, new tarantulas. Anyway, the subscribers and in the comments, if you are new, they will have you back if you come and pop up on screen. We normally have a right laugh. Come about nine o'clock. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we do say that is our watershed here at Scott's Invert. So come nine o'clock on a live stream, it does get a little bit fiery, a little bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit funny, and it really, really does. We'd normally have an, an absolute fantastic night. So if you free tomorrow night, you can pop along to that. Please do so. Again, make sure you are subscribed for all the fun and games. Anyway, guys, thank you again so so much for watching. Channel members, thank you guys so so much. You really do support the channel more than what you think you do. It really really does help. The more people that do like the the lower tier, which is like three pound a month, you know, collectively you do make such a massive impact on this channel. It's unbelievable. I just want to say thank you to you guys. You also get 15% off at Spa Spiders, and there could be a little bit extra coming in. Uh, at BTS for you guys for when you visit Spa anyway, but I'll wait, I'll wait until um, me and Luke have sorted that out properly. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, we shall see you again on the next one.